every day, we as a species have to make a number of decisions. They're the same decision over and over again, though they are obviously more situational than others. Ants. The outcome of this decision can either lead to you having a good morning or a great morning or a crappy morning. It may lead to you having better interactions with your fellow humans, or it may lead to you being grumpy and grouchy all day. It can also have health benefits or defects, depending on whether or not you make the right decision. And um, no matter how many times we make this decision, there is always a better option out there. And sometimes the option that we choose is good for us and not good for others or vice versa. I am of course talking about this thing. We as a species have developed many new ways of sitting down and being comfortable and a camp chair is no exception. This process is still happening and there is not yet a perfect camp chair out there already. Or is there? Um, today we are going to be sitting down like so. Um, and discussing what I like and don't like about this particular camp chair here. So grab yourself a cup or a coldie, sit back, relax for this week's episode of Off-Road Crusader, where we're doing another Todd Reviews on this Oz Tent King Kokoda camp chair. Cheers all. Nice to actually sit down and have a drink, especially as a um, first time dad. It's nice to actually get away and have a little bit of peace and quiet. Mrs. is taking him to the shop, so, so <laughs> she'll have her work cut out, but I've got um, a limited window to film this, so let's get moving. Um, so this is the Oz Tent King Kokoda camp chair. I've owned this one for two years now. Um, I bought it through BCF, um, which is a camping store here in Australia. It's about $150 each, I think they were. I've got two of them, one for me and one for the missus. We previously had the traditional style kind of fold up chairs, just some cheapies, and they weren't too bad. I got a sort of a larger size one just because I wanted a bit more space. Um, and even then I found that there were a number of things I didn't like about those styles of chairs. Um, First one I would probably bring up would be where your knees go on the chair. I found that especially on that sort of underneath your knees and underneath your thighs there, it would cut in a lot, which was uncomfortable to sit on for a long period of time. I didn't like it. So I knew I wanted a camp, new camp chair that had something different. I didn't like the armrests as well. They were being soft and they also kept moving. You know, everyone would know it. Well, your elbow usually goes on your camp chair and it would slide up and down on that pole and it really annoyed me. So, which is why I made the decision about, oh, it's probably even three years ago now, um, to upgrade to these camp chairs here. I tried out a bunch of different ones and found that these ones were the best I could find. So the reasons I bought them were for obviously having the solid armrests. I wanted to try them out and I knew it was something I kind of wanted down the um, to have in the chair. Really, really like them. I'll, I'll probably be trying to keep something like this as well. I also like that they are super duper comfy. They're not just some flimsy little material. They're actually like a nice thick material. Got some padding in there, so it was really nice. Underneath where your knees go, there's sort of an extra little section there sort of some support so it doesn't dig into your legs. And even if you have these chairs for many, many years and you put a bit of wear into them, you can tell you're not gonna hurt your legs on them either. The cup holders on these are down by your right hand sides. There's a cup holder there in this little sort of Velcro pocket. Um, the cup holder's good though. I do, I do kind of wish it was in a spot where it wasn't affected by the terrain so much, um, obviously being down a little bit lower. And especially if you've got an open drink, so you've got a glass instead of like a can or a stubby then you're kind of more susceptible to have stuff fall in it. Also, if the cup is full, you put it down and more than likely stuff's gonna spill out unless that cup's nice on, on a nice even level, then it's just gonna fall out down the side. Another big plus I had for this chair was that it has adjustable straps for like lumbar support. So you can see these black straps here, you can actually pull them to be tighter. So it'll actually pull in on your, on your lower back or you can loosen them off nice and easy as well and it will relax that. Um, I found that really good, especially when I was trying out the chairs because some of them were made for 
smaller of people or larger people and obviously people have different frames and they need different amounts of support i really like the idea that you could adjust it and find what would work best for you also sometimes like you just want to kind of lounge in it in which case you can sort of let it all um, loosen all the straps off or if you want something to sort of hold you up while you're say having dinner you can really tighten the straps up and it sort of holds you back up much nicer another big benefit i really liked about this chair was that it came with a carry bag and not just to sort of um a pillowcase to sort of slide it into it actually had a zip up bag with handles that was a massive benefit um, and still gives a lot of benefits because when we pack them away in the car it doesn't get snagged on anything so like you would have say the legs or the arms of a traditional camp chair when you're packing them away they might snag on say the edge of an esky or on a box or something like that these ones here they're nice and slim line nothing catches on them which is really really good we don't particularly store them in the weather um, and i wouldn't suggest it with these types of bags they're not waterproof or weatherproof but if you had to you know have them on the roof or something like that they would definitely provide some extra sort of protection especially for dust not particularly for water but mainly for dust and sand and all that kind of stuff so um, yeah really really like it there's some of the reasons i like this chair oh the other really cool thing is in the headrest where your back goes right in there is a zip pocket and you can actually put the bag of the chair into that pocket it provides a little pillow so it helps to hold your neck up a little bit more so that's kind of cool i really like that little feature now onto some of the things i don't like about this chair and unfortunately this is where it sort of all starts to fall apart for this chair as well um, it is super comfortable it is quite expensive for what it is especially as a fold-up camp chair with it has some good features to it but i wouldn't call it groundbreaking and I think $150, $155 or whatever it was is probably a little bit much for that. Um, there are other chairs you can get which have similar features which cost a hell of a lot less. So I would probably also look at them. Like I mentioned before, the cup holder is also another downside. I would prefer it to be somewhere more stable um, and obviously to be able to self-level would be even cooler. Just because I, I tend to, you know, I, I have a scotch and coke whenever we go out for, for camping or something like that. And you mix it in glass and put it in there. And unless your chair is on perfectly level ground, all the liquid falls to one side of the glass and ends up falling out unless you've got to drink it really fast. So um, I suppose that's a pro and a con. It makes you drink a little bit quicker, um, but it's not the most stable thing there either. The final con I'd probably talk about as well is the actual use of the chair so how to set it up and put it away so to set it up and put it away it's not like your traditional one where it all sort of falls to the center the armrests the rear of the armrests are on sort of a slider and they move up and down in the way that you sort of have to pull it all together but two options are you sort of moving in a diagonal but also laterally as well when you're packing it up which is a little bit to get your head around when you're first starting to use it i've used it a few times now so it just makes sense to me but when i was first using it it was really it wasn't very intuitive is probably the better way to put it to set up and pack up this camp chair um, and i think that could be simplified the main concern i have with that and the main thing which i would say is the biggest con of this chair is the way that when that ch chair slides and uses those sliders to, to open and close they're very very fine and there's very little tolerance in them which is good because it makes it feel nice and solid but you tend to go camping where it's not very clean, um, where there's sand and mud and dirt and all the rest of it. That gets in those sliders and even a little bit will cause it to seize up. Because this is all alloy, um, it obviously can't take a huge amount of stress before it'll want to bend. And that's what's happened with one of our chairs. So when we've tried to close it up and it's gotten jammed and we've tried to sort of work out the sand, you know, like get a bit of water in there or WD-40 is the best to try and get that sand to, to fall out. And we're getting it to move and then eventually like a little bit of it bent so we can still use it as per normal but just one side's not quite as straight as the other so that was a definite downside to these chairs and um, if i was going to be buying a, a different camp chair i would probably look at something where either they fix that issue or has something different entirely so that it was sort of a bit more foolproof in terms of setting up and packing away in the dirt and in the sand so in terms of the verdict for this chair well, do i think you should buy one i reckon you should definitely try it out i think it's a really comfy chair i think the features on it and the sort of uh the comfort of it as well is really really good it's definitely up there in sort of the top quarter of, of comfy chairs i mean if i can quantify it but um it's really really good and whenever i sit on this chair it's always super comfy so there are ants everywhere here and they're just wanting to eat me alive 
I definitely wouldn't pay full retail price for these chairs. If you can get them on sale, whether there's like a, um, for example, like a, a store uh, special going on or whether or not you can buy them secondhand. And there's definitely a lot of items like that at the moment in this sort of uh, late COVID era where a lot of people have gone, oh, let's buy lots of camping gear, use it once, then realize they don't like camping. So um, I'd keep an eye out for these if you can um, to try them out, not pay 150 bucks each for them. So as you know, I don't like giving too much feedback without offering some uh, feedback in terms of improvements or suggestions and uh, Oztent, uh, I know you're definitely watching this because you know I'm such a big famous YouTuber and all. <laughs> um, I definitely have some suggestions for you in terms of this chair if you're going to be producing more. So fix this sliders, uh, make sure that there's a way that you can clean out any sand or gunk that gets in there or better yet have a way in which maybe it's got a rubber boot that goes over the top that keeps a lot of that out. That'd be brilliant if you could um, because once you sort of do get sand in there and it starts to get gritty it's a it's a uphill battle to try and fix it and get it back into a, a usable state the cup holders i think they could have some sort of solid reinforcement especially on the outer rim there to sort of keep the the, the cup holder open and if you can maybe allow it to to swing naturally so that it can actually use gravity to keep itself vertical all the time that'd be kind of cool or whether or not there's a way to have an like remove the the uh, cup holder and fix it to the side of maybe the armrest you know, give options to your customers. I don't know, this could be an idea. Um, but apart from that, I'm really, really happy with it. And um, I think it's a good thing. Right, so the moment you've all been waiting for where I give some sort of arbitrary rating to this chair here, um, I would probably rate this, oh, it's really good, but it's got some downsides. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it about 3.5. And even then, that's probably being a little bit harsh as well, but the drawbacks of these get worse over time, and I wouldn't give it a, say, a four or a four and a half. It's a really good chair, but the drawbacks in it can be fixed, and there are many other chairs which don't have these cons. So, yeah, I'm going to say it's a, it's a four when you get it, and about a 3.5 after you've used it for a little while. So that's what I'm going to rate it for today. So, guys, thank you very much for watching this review. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about these chairs, if you have them as well, or whether or not you disagree or agree with my, um, with my feedback on this one here. So let me know in the comments what you think, um, or if you have any suggestions for what else you would like to see me review, whether it's going to be some sort of camping gear, some four-wheel drive equipment, whatever it may be, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. If you want to, make sure to like and subscribe on this video. Check us out on Patreon. Also, the Facebook page as well is where... Next year, there's going to be some cool events happening. And next time, you can look forward to me reviewing probably the most requested thing I get asked for my opinion about is that big white thing up there. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week, and um, I'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.